What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. This afternoon, it's just hit afternoon, it's 12.03 right now and me and John, we were driving around old binocular man here and we were doing a little bit of scouting and kind of just a little bit of nothing, just driving honestly. We were driving back up from southern South Dakota and we were headed back to North Dakota after a little trip that we were just on. And we came across some birds dumping into this like little in the middle of nowhere pond that's kind of secluded in between a bunch of fields. And we just happened to see some ducks dumping in it. So we drove over and decided to check it out with the binoculars and it's kind of loaded with ducks. This is my last day that I have a license for South Dakota. So me and John were like, we may as well try it. The wind is like 30 miles an hour right now and it's cloudy, but there are birds ripping around. So we decided to try a little midday hunt here. We have like a dozen floaters in the back of the truck and our spinning wings. So I think we're just gonna try to stand in the water and shoot our limits of ducks. I don't think John's gonna be filming today. I'll probably mostly run the GoPro just because this isn't like an ideal hunt for the big camera. But I guess we're gonna go set up and see what happens here. What do you think's gonna happen, bud? Hopefully good things, but I find if you're less optimistic, it turns out better, so. So this is gonna suck. So this is really gonna suck. You guys aren't gonna see any of this footage. You but remember, now. remember when we hunted that field two mornings ago, and we're like, oh, this is gonna suck, and then it actually sucked? Yeah, hope it doesn't end up like that. Yeah, so maybe we shouldn't say that. Okay, this okay. is gonna be great, guys. Yeah. 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 Oh, red tail hawk, red tail hawk. It, it's absolutely brutal outside right now. Like, our hats were flying off and our pants were flying off and it was kind of sus. Well, we took our <laughs> pants off, but. Wow. Full day, man. Oh, yeah. Woo! I'm ready to hunt, Luke. Let's go. Just kidding, not ready. You liking this wind, bud? Oh yeah, I love it. You look like a beast right now. Thanks, brother. John's getting the one spinning wing ready. We're gonna just bring one of those with us. And then, we got a few floaters here. We're not bringing too much. We're gonna pack in light. We just got our two guns. We got a pocket full of shells here. And that's pretty much all we're bringing with us. We're not going crazy here. All these ducks, they're trying to land on the west side of the lake right now because that's the side of the lake that's out of the wind. So we're gonna go set up where we've seen some ducks flying in and hopefully we can shoot some birds here. Also, I am rocking the Tidewee heated waterfowl hunting jacket this afternoon. You guys have probably seen this in a couple of the other videos. I have been wearing this when it's cold out and I decided to rock this sucker since it's so windy and cold out right now. If you guys haven't, check these out. They're a super nice jacket, super comfortable, super affordable and it's pretty slick because you can plug a battery pack into it like I have right now. And then all you have to do is click this little Tidewee logo button right here and you got a heated jacket. The whole inside of this is heated. All you have to do is plug your battery pack in and click that button and your jacket has heat. So if you guys want to check out a super nice, comfortable, affordable heated jacket, make sure you guys click the Tidewee link in the description of this video. Make sure you guys use code BWFILMS at checkout and you will save 18% site-wide. Also, the same goes if you guys want to check out some new waders. Johnny boy, he's got the Tidewee waders on, and I also have the Tidewee waders on. Boots, waders, or this jacket, Tidewee, use code BWFILMS, 18%. Let's go kill some birds, bud. I didn't know Santa Claus's sleigh was here with all that jingling. Oh, I got some jingling of my own, bud. Hey! Oh, hey. hey, cheers, brother. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry you guys had to watch that. Carry this, bud. Hey, we don't even need batteries. Hey. Raise hail, praise Dale, brother! Woo! Hey, you see that right there, brother? Hey, that's a beaver trail. You can just tell because of the way it is. Oh, right on, brother! Yeah! Yeah! Should I bust at him? Hey, bark at Oh! <laughs> right on, brother! You know that what? That dang beaver, brother! Oh, yeah. Hey, hey! 
See that trap? You can tell that's a trap just because the way it is. Right on, brother. Oh! <laughs> brother! These beavers keep wanting to get me, brother. Oh, God. I just want you guys to know you're about to see the greasiest <laughs> Mindac XBW Films collab you've ever seen in your life. What's that? I can't hear you over the clanking. Huh? No, you have to have two bands with the clank. Remember, it's a rule. Oh, right on. All right, well we could have shot at those. Oh, the beavers got my leg! The beavers got my leg! No, I'll get you out, brother! Hang on! All right. What? What was that? Can you say that again? I can't hear you. Too many bands clinging. Hey, shout out to John for filming me shooting right away. If you guys want to check out John Lehman's channel, Mindac Outdoors, that's going to be linked in the description hey, of this filming, video. Bud. Oh, thanks for plugging me, bro. Yeah, right on. Oh, that's a hawk. Nope. Oh, that's a, a duck. duck. You know what that tap means, don't you? He's about to get BW filmed. Oh, God. He's lucky this isn't Swan Lake. Oh. Don't come back now, you heard? That was just a warning shot. Oh God. Right on. Old Broken Wing laying the hammer down. How many did you get out of that? 17. Two ducks down. John's gonna grab that one. Unfortunately, I had a sailor go way over here, so I have to go get this one. All right. Only eight shells for two green wingers. We're on track for a good hunt. I got two green wing teal down. I only need four more ducks. But when me and John came out here, we wanted to pack in light. So, you know, I just stuffed the front of my Tidewee waders with shells. And then I stuffed the pocket of my waders with shells. And we we're like, oh, that's going to be plenty. We only get six ducks, you know, a piece. So if we each have about a box of shells, we're golden, right? Well, eight shells for two green wingers. I don't really think we're on track for that. So I'm going to have to uh, take my time on the next ones. But we're going to get back in and hopefully we can have another coot flock come in because I'd like to get some coot because they're long legs. It's just cool seeing a bunch of coot come in and then you just dust them, you know? So let's see what happens. You boys want to have a darty after this? Cut, damn! Woo! Asada. Yo, I wish Dane was here so we could make a TikTok and have a power up. Would you guys be mic'd up? Dane, if you're watching this, no bird, Brooks. Dude. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's yeah, land over the there. Side, Cause that's what ducks do. You know what? Yeah, how you like that side now, bud? A little loud? Being honest, I really don't feel like walking that far. That wasn't our bird.
Oh sh! I was looking at Tweety Birds. Is he down? Well, why can't a duck do that? Hey, them's was our birds. Ha! <laughs> yeah. You better shoot this. Where is it? Right in front of you. Brother, that thing was burning and turning. <laughs> did it go 20? No, it actually did. Oh, it actually did. But one blue winger, two green wingers, only a box and a half of shells shot, and I only need three more ducks. I, I would say it's going good. good. Mm hmm. All right, well those were, honestly like, those were the first two bigger ducks that decoyed pretty well. I whipped the first shot, to be honest, I was kind of flock shooting, but luckily I pulled one off with the second shot and then I realized that I only had two shells in my gun, so you know what can you do? You're watching a BW Films X Mindac water collab. Where else do you see it? You expect this, right, you know? Go get them, BW Films. Go get them. For everybody that's watching this video, I am sorry because you guys are probably losing brain cells. Trophy! Most people hunt all their lives without even getting a chance at one of these. Cinnamon teal. Right on, BW! Oh, it's a lobster! Alright, duck number five for me, pintail. That means I only have one more duck left to shoot. I can't shoot another pintail, you can only have one pintail here. So, it's kind of cool I got my pintail. We'll see you guys on the next duck. Last duck, but let me finish him. Okay, well, last duck of my limit, but there's still actually a decent amount of ducks coming out here, so I think John should pick up the gun and try to shoot one bird. I'm done though, so I might try to film John for just a minute. Do you have anything to say to the audience now that you're the shooter? Yup, I'm just living the dream, can't complain. That's a shame when that happens, and then I'm just gonna have to take a shot like this. All right, well I just went and got my last mallard here. And John went to check this little pocket out that we might want to hunt tomorrow maybe. And a gaddy got up, and I just like, dude, I just like see a duck flap, and then I just hear, <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> it was like pheasant hunting, I just flushed it up, and I was like, hey, yo. Yep, so John has one duck. Okay, well, me and John, we sat here for 
Probably another 30 minutes, honestly, and nothing else is really coming in. None of these ducks want to play right now. They're being kind of stubborn, but we are going to get out of here. We got to pack all this stuff out of here. We're going to clean these ducks up when we get home, and then once we get back to the house, we're going to show you guys a couple different ways to prepare this duck. So with that said, we're going to head on out, and we will see you guys back at the house. See ya! Give him a see ya, brother Mindak! Oh, see ya! Three weeks later. Hey, you want a nipple? All right, well, as you can see, unfortunately, I'm back at John's house, and we're gonna cook some of these ducks up. So, we got a couple breasts. Two of them are from the mallard, and two of them are from the pintail that I shot. And we clean these breasts with the fat on them. So I've never really eaten duck like this. And this is like the best way to eat it apparently. It tastes the best leaving the fat on. So we're about to try it. John, he's got the old skillet here with some, what kind of oil is that, bud? Uh, what, what kind of oil is this, Lindsay? Canola. Some canola oil. But honestly, a lot of you guys are gonna be flaming like, oh, you don't need the oil. You have the fat on the ducks. Well, I'll they're put gonna a say little, it like that. They're gonna say it like that. I'll put a little in there. It's not gonna hurt. You it. said that though. I said they, they that. They said though. that. Alright, John's doing a little salt and pepper action for seasoning. You guys can use different seasoning if you want, but salt and pepper is kind of a go-to way. Eh? Yeah, it's pretty chill. I want to make this as simple and easy as possible for you guys, just to show you you don't need, you know, all those crazy rubs and stuff to make something taste good. Salt and pepper will do her nice. I'll give you a crazy rub. Hey, look, get... Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? All right, stand clear, everybody. Stand clear. You want to put this fat down, boys. Fat down. Oh, yep. That's the pintail right there, old son. Sir, yes, how long sir. do we leave them sit, chef? So you want to do, this is on like a medium high heat. Um, maybe it's a little bit too hot, I don't really know. I'm not the biggest, you know, biggest chef guy, but we're gonna leave this on this side for about three to four minutes and then flip it and give it another like three to five minutes. And then you want to let these sit. It's a big major key is let them sit right after. Don't cut into them right away. So yeah. You slice those up, Bubba. Those look like a good medium rare if you ask me, bro. Those look like a good medium rare. All right. Shout out to John for whipping this up. We got some good old duck fat on there. It's definitely a lot better with the fat on it. Yeah, compared to no fat. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm hmm. Is that the pintail? I just had the mallard. No, it's mallard too. It is? Did mm -hmm. you have some of the pintail though? Yeah, the pintail's good. Did you taste good. the difference? Mm. Not really. Yeah, you can taste the difference definitely. Like, hmm. That's the old pintail right there. Look at that. Medium rare. Still juicy. Mmm. So that is another way you guys can prepare your duck. I know you guys have seen us make like duck poppers and the stuff that everybody knows how to make, obviously. I'm sure a lot of people cook their duck like this already with the fat on it, but we haven't done that really on the channel, at least on my channel. So I wanted to show you guys how you can do that when you leave the duck fat on there instead of stripping the whole thing and uh, taking the fat off of these breasts. It definitely tastes a lot better with the fat on there and preparing it that way. So, if you guys wanna cook your duck like that, you saw how we did it. It's super simple. All you have to do is pluck your birds and then cut the breasts out like you normally would, but just leave the fat on there. And it's as easy as that. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video if you have not done that yet. And we will see you all on the next one. See ya!